Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, here is the former undefeated WBC International middleweight champion, Mark Kid Dynamite Hathron. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring in this main event rematch, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Denzel Too Sharp Bentley. I'm a cold bench, just stop punching and you take a step back, okay? Yeah. Don't throw any punches around the back of the head, protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up, touch close, good luck, man. Well, if you follow your boxing, you'll have been looking forward to this one. Sometimes British title fights produce the very best of competitive action. First time around, it was a mini classic. No reason why it shouldn't be more of the same tonight. Heffron, a pro since 2010, had a stop-start sort of career. Bentley only came into the paid, paid ranks back in 2017. The younger man by three years. And who's going to be the first to seize the initiative to acquire dominance in the early stages of this fight? Well, what will be really important as well, John, will be the early rounds. Who can nick those early rounds? It's going to be competitive, it's going to be close. Who can get the tactics right? Who can start and be more relaxed? Lots of questions have got to be answered, but it's it's critical and crucial that you know you win these opening rounds. The first two or three rounds could decide, you know, a real close fight over 12 rounds. So these early ones, yeah, they're going to be very important indeed. Sometimes people say rematches never quite match up to the drama of the first meeting because the fighters know that little bit more about each other. But there are exceptions, and Heffron going in there looking for that overhand right. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot from Heffron. Quick off the mark, just beat Bentley to the punch. Bentley holding his ground a little bit more. As he'd have to do. I mean, it was one of my takes on this that if he was going to beat Heffron, he'd got to be able to be prepared and ready and indeed to put into practice fighting three minutes of every round. That's right. I mean, he did some good stuff, um, did, did Bentley in the last contest, but, but too often he, he sort of drifted mentally as well as physically. He just switched off now and again and just allowed Mark Heffron then to seize the initiative. But it's a close start from both boxes here, as we anticipated. It's certainly not a scouting mission, they know all about each other. Similar physically, both standing around about the six foot mark just under. Heffron trying to get onto the front foot, trying to bully Bentley back. But Bentley, such a good punch picker. Close opening round. Two men reluctant to commit too much at this early stage of the fight. Good shot there from Heffron. Nice little left hook. You see Bentley get that right hand right back to the only guard guard position, and then Bentley comes back with a, a choppy right hand of his his own. Not a lot between them in these opening three minutes. It'll be interesting to see how Richie scores this one. Close opening round, a long way to go. Who's your money on now? It's our British middleweight title fight, Mark Heffron against Denzel Bentley. Judges don't like to score rounds even more often than not, Richie. Yeah, but listen, that's a, 
That's a tough round to score, isn't it? Either way, for me, it's 10-10. Could have gone either way. Very close opening round. And is that going to be the blueprint for the fight as it unfolds? 12-rounder, of course, for this vacant title. Bentley getting in with the right hand, I think, there. His quick hands again from Bentley. Signs in the opening exchanges here that it might be a little bit more technical the first time around. They're both quick off the mark, to be quite honest, John. Um, you know, they're both leading. That's a solid jab there from Heffron. And a nice short right hand. What's important at this stage is you don't miss the target. If you miss the target when the opponent is at, 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 at his quickest, then he'll come back with fast counters. You've got to hit the target with that first shot. And Heffron has done better here with the couple of the shots that he's thrown. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, so, so Heffron then just throw the slower jab and just gets caught with that right hand, and that was better from Bentley. And how much did that stun Heffron? Certainly put him onto the back foot, and he's trying to just evade the attack to take a second or two, maybe, for the head to clear, and his left eye in as well. Looks as though it might have been damaged by that, and another one coming in, and he spots that damage, if it is indeed starting to swell up Bentley, and he's trying to keep the pressure on the man from Oldham. Yeah, good, good work here from Bentley. Started the ball rolling with that right hand and kept the attack going. And Heffron, you can clearly see, went backwards just to recover. He did a bit of time and space. And I think he has recovered now as uh, Heffron, but... That left eye left eye's a bit of a mess, Richie. And it's early on in the contest as well, so that will be a problem and a big problem for the corner. Swelling up badly by the second, and they won't waste a second before going to work on that. This is a big round for Denzel Bentley, just as it was in the first fight when he had Heffron on the canvas, if you remember. And this is a big, big round. That left eye of Mark Heffron's is closing by the second, and he's going to work on him here, Bentley. Big attack for the man from Battersea, and he's had an outstanding second round, and Heffron is is looking in trouble here and Bentley is really piling on the aggression looking for him all the time with that right hand on the side where he's maybe affected and not seeing those punches and another one lands absolutely flush yeah, cracking shot and the confidence now from Bentley he switched to southpaw so that's showing the confidence but yeah you can see the swelling under the left eye of Heffron this has been a very good round indeed for Denzel Bentley what a great round for Denzel Bentley. He was the 11 to 8 on favourite to win this fight with the bookies. I bet he'd be a lot, lot bigger favourite now. In the corner, they work away on the damaged eye of Mark Heffron. That is a problem, isn't it? I mean, we're only going to the third round, but let's have a look. It seems to be a jab to the body. There he was. That was the jab to the body. It's a fairly slow return with the left hand going back to the on-guard position, and he gets caught with the right hand, and then Bentley just follows him through, catches him again with another cracking one-two, the right hand in particular. So it's a bad round for Mark Heffron. All through that slow jab, that slow jab to the body, and there towards the end of the round, Bentley coming through with another quality right hand. And look at the swelling on the that eye and the pain when that punch landed and that is an evil looking injury so early in the fight that's going to be a big problem big round to Denzel Bentley and how Heffron needs to establish some sort of dominance now is it conceivable that the fight could even go 12 rounds now well it is, it's going to be a problem because it's a bad injury uh, the swelling is so early in the contest what the court it's, it's what the corner have said to him if they've told him that you know it's a bad injury and you've got to try and finish Denzel Bentley we may we may see Mark Heffron really go for it because again he's shipping shots like that one there good right hand again from Bentley so Bentley now he's got the confidence hasn't he Hugely popular fighter in the Manchester and Oldham area, Mark Heffron. His legion of fans will be watching on now and hoping he can turn this one around. But at the moment, Bentley is looking like the man, and there's another big right hand. Come out of that. 
Doesn't seem to be able to miss with that right hand, does he, Denzel? Bentley, it's well timed. He throws it in a one two. Just whip one downstairs there. Corner just reminding him don't go looking for it, just rely on your boxing skills that have served you well so far. That's the voice of Ray Ball in the Denzel Bentley corner. Product of the famed Peacock Gym in his professional career. And I think Mark Efren now coming on, on that front foot again, knows he's got to take the risks. I don't think he's thinking of a 12-round contest here, being picked off with those long-range one-twos from Bentley. Heffron somehow has got to close that gap down, avoid those long-range shots to get to Denzel Bentley. But at the moment, it's Bentley who's the, the one that's scoring with that straight right hand in particular. Boxing nicely again in the second round, Bentley. Heffron trying to apply educated pressure, can't just afford to go steamrolling in. You know, one mistake, uh, John, can change the pattern of a contest. It's that slow jab to the, the body, remember, from Mark Efford in the previous round. And then he gets caught with that big right hand. Then the swelling starts. Well, he's really oh, having to turn in deep. Yeah, it turned, it, the, the, it turned the round, didn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And Bentley looking brimful of confidence, as you'd expect, as the count goes down in the closing seconds of the third round. Heffron onto the front foot, trying to put pressure on of his own in these last few seconds. But Bentley looking calm and assured as the bell goes to end the third. Welcome back to the BT Studios, where we've once again got boxing for you behind closed doors, the British middleweight title fight. It's Mark Heffron and Denzel Bentley, and Bentley going well. Yes, he did, and he probably took that third round as well, a couple of good right hands for him. Heffron came back well at the end of the round, but I thought it was Bentley's. and switching, fighting out of the southpaw stance. Now reverting to orthodox, trying to keep Bentley guessing, but Bentley will, I'm pretty certain, have established a lead. I assume you gave him that last round. Yeah, I did give him that last round. I think it's got to be probably an all or nothing approach now from Heffron, because to get through 12 rounds with, with the eye damage like that, it's going to be really, really difficult. You just see him switch to Southpaw at the start of the contest. It's maybe probably to, to try and protect that left eye. That right hand of Bentley's got to go a little bit further to travel to the target, but again hits him there. That's a good shot. And he's being forced to cover up again. And Bentley seeing that Heffron's in trouble. Trying to apply educated pressure, but he knows that every time he gets in, somewhere near that damaged eye, pain is going right through the body of Mark Heffron. Yeah, a big shot that was, wasn't it? Visibly, you can see Mark Heffron just, just back off a little bit. You know he's been caught with a good shot. Well, there's certainly been a change uh, from Denzel Bentley in terms of the drifting into the corners. We haven't seen him drift into the corner once, John, like he did in the opening in the first contest. Well, it was maybe a, a lack of confidence in his own ability to go the longer distance, having never been past six. Now, having been ten, he knows that he can go, that his stamina will survive. Yeah, but he just drifted off. 
mentally as well and, and it was poor uh, ring craft in the first fight drifting into the corners inviting the pressure but here he's holding the center a lot better as we said he boxed better if he was to do that in that first contest but here i think his punches have been much more accurate while kefren isn't doing a, a lot different from that first fight he's trying to come forward but here the difference is bentley is holding his ground and pushing also pushing heffron back that's been the difference he's not been drifting off into those corners more success from Heffron there, but he rode the punch, Bentley, you could see he saw it coming and was able to go with it to take the impact out of it. This has been good so far for Denzel Bentley, showing an application of the undoubted talent that people knew that he got, but which hadn't really been applied in the first fight. Heffron just trying to get his way into this fight, trying to match Bentley. Has he done so? We'll hear from Richie in a moment. Well, a better round there for Mark Heffron, the fourth, but did he do enough to win it? I don't think he did, John, to be quite honest. It was closer. Okay, look at the eye. This is, I tell you what, this, this could be over. Look, look, it is, there you go. They've stopped it. They've stopped it. It's all over, and the damaged eye has done it. Dis bitter disappointment for Heffron, but huge celebrations for Denzel Bentley, the man from the streets of Battersea. It was the big punch in that second round, that right hand, which smashed into the eye of Mark Heffron, created the damage, and from that moment onwards, the eye was swelling at such an early stage, and in no time at all, it was starting to close, and there on his stool at the end of the fourth round, they realized that he can no longer to see through that left eye clamped closed with the swelling and the referee Steve Gray indicates that the fight is over and so following in the footsteps of the likes of Alan Minter, Bonner Graham, Tony Simpson, Billy Joe Saunders, Denzel Bentley is the new British middleweight champion. Yes he's boxed very well tonight just that one mistake from Heffron to the body with that body shot and he's getting caught with a good right hand it changed the whole complexion and pattern of the contest it was, then you've seen a much more positive Bentley, he was a concede in the ground, he was holding his ground a lot better and his right hand seemed to be working so well tonight but I do feel for Mark Heffron because the swelling was almost instantaneous and then when that happened I bet he could barely see out that eye after the next round and so you know the pattern then emerges but nevertheless Denzel Bentley, good performance, he got the tactics right you know, he pounced on that mistake, and uh, yeah, he's the new British champion. Fair play to him. I'm sure there'll be a few tears of frustration tonight. Kevin Marie, the man who persuaded Mark Heffron to come back into boxing and give it a tilt for the top once again. They believe that they've done absolutely everything right, but it was Denzel Bentley who fulfilled the great promise that Ray Ball, Martin Bowers believed for so long that he had, and he was prepared to stand his ground. And look at that, the great rivalry, for the moment anyway, settled in Denzel Bentley's favour. And uh, so much respect between the two. First time around, the judges just couldn't split them. Second time around, the judges weren't needed and Denzel Bentley produced exactly what he needed. He found that big right hand, Heffron's injury prevented him from continuing, and so the famed Lonsdale belt will be brought into the ring and presented to Denzel Bentley because of this. Here now is Thomas Triber to tell him what will be absolutely music to his ears.
Ladies and gentlemen, after four completed rounds of boxing, our referee Steve Gray accepts the Red Corner's retirement. Therefore, your winner, and now the British middleweight champion, Denzel Too Sharp Bentley. Denzel Bentley really did his job here tonight. Really impressive. The new British champion, and who knows how far he might go. There's the Lonsdale belt, perhaps the greatest belt of them all. And it will mean so, so much to this man from Battersea when Steve Gray gets it sorted out there to finally have it wrapped around his waist. Over his shoulder it goes. And he is now the British champion. And he will be a very, very proud man indeed.